I had a hard time finding information on how to run a water line from the house to the barn. In this video, you'll learn how I did the whole project. Let's get started. I got to bring this water line into the house. And so I'm going to run this pipe in and hook a three inch pipe down to that. I'm going to sleeve through here a PEX, three quarter inch PEX pipe and insulate it. And then I'll tie them together after I get the pipe down below the frost line. So I'm going to drill a pilot hole to start off so I know where to drill it and then we'll drill it out. I've got that insulation wrapped all the way in and pushed in. I'll just take the other piece and uh, cut a 45 degree angle and slide it in and that'll insulate that whole thing, keep it from freezing. Alright, we've got the water line buried from the house 
trenched all the way over here to the barn and there's the line stubbing up there. Now the hydrant we have is six feet tall and I want the top of it to be about a little less than four feet. So I need to go two feet in the ground but there's a relief valve down at the bottom so it doesn't freeze. Put one foot of gravel down at the bottom. So I need to dig this out. I've got that line buried maybe two feet but I gotta go a foot underneath that. Alright, we got the hole dug. They want you to go two feet by two feet and then a foot deeper than your frost line underneath the bottom of the water line so that when it drains off it can drain down into the rock and that's why it doesn't freeze. So I've got some washed stone here. I've gone three feet deep. I'm going to put one foot of washed stone in. As you can see my hole isn't two feet by two feet but it's about almost three feet long and a foot wide so I'm real close. Before we cut and connect this I'm going to turn the water on since I've got it hooked up all the way to the house I've got somebody in the house and flush the water line out. There might be dirt that got down in there or something and you don't want that getting into the valve and clogging it up. Um. I'm going to screw these in from the back side. These are ledger lock screws, super strong. And that'll keep that balanced and then I'll bury the bottom and it'll be solid as a rock. Okay, what we're going to do now is cut the black pipe so I can hook it up to the bottom of the hydrant. I'm going to put a stainless steel hose clamp on there. You want to make sure you use stainless steel, otherwise it'll rust, corrode, and eventually come loose. Okay, I got the hose on the end of that elbow, and I used a plastic connector there. Those galvanized connectors will rot out over time. I've had that happen to me with my well, so the plastic is best, and I tightened a stainless steel hose clamp on there. I'm going to put a rock underneath here to keep from settling or any problems. Now there's a little bleeder valve on the side of this. So when you open the hydrant for water to come out, the water actually turns on and shuts off right down here. Just like a hose bib, a frost-proof hose bib on a house. There's a rod in here that pulls that valve open and fills this with water. When you turn it off, it drains back down here so that you don't freeze water in this pipe and bust it. That's the whole idea behind this. And the water will drain out in here. It'll soak in this washed stone and then eventually soak in the soil, depending upon what kind of soil you have. If you had real sandy soil, you wouldn't need this washed stone here. But I'm going to fill the washed stone up to about here so that valve right here doesn't get clogged up with dirt. So I'll come up to about here with rocks and then I'll go dirt the rest of the way. And that the, the dirt at the top will keep the surface water from getting down in there and saturating that. This is how the hydrant works. Turn the water on, 
Now the water's running, there's pressure in the line. Now we turn the water off and it drains off. So that pipe is empty and that's why it's not going to freeze in winter because the shutoff is right down there. We've got the water on, no leaks. We're all strapped down. Nice and straight. I think we're good to go. Now I'm going to backfill this with stone and I have to at least get above that valve. I'd like to go above it maybe to where that uh, first collar is. Right there. That'll give that plenty of room without the dirt clogging it. Just need to rake the dirt up a little bit around the hydrant and throw some seed down. water. Got the conduit for the 10-2 wire on the right hand side and an open conduit to the left hand side of that junction box in case I want to run something else out to the barn. And that water line is insulated as I showed you <clears throat> right up to the end of that pipe which goes a foot below the top of grade which is our frost line here. So we're ready to backfill. Now we just throw a little grass seed down. We're all done. And that's how I got water that will not freeze from the house to the barn. If you'd like to see how I ran the PEX water line in the house that connects to the barn, click on the link at the end of this video. If this video was a help to you, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And I look forward to helping you with other projects online.